Hello everyone, Manithrall here. Welcome back to another Quest Guide video. Uh, today we will be doing Eagle's Peak. Now in order to do this quest, you do need a little bit of items. You want to get some Swamp Paste and some Yellow Dye. Now whether you need two or not will remain to be seen at the end of this. Uh, but you need to talk to a Zookeeper. Not the Monkey Minder, the Zookeeper. Okay. You'll ask if he has any quests for you, of course. Okay, so apparently that's not actually it. Let me check something here, actually. Because uh, I know I don't have this... Oh, Charlie the Zookeeper, sorry. I gotta talk to Charlie. Where's Charlie? Charlie, I'm looking for you, Charlie. Where the heck's Charlie at? Maybe he's in the bird area. That would make the most sense. There's Charlie. Alright, let's talk to Charlie. I don't know why I'm saying it that way, I just... Having fun with it. Okay, let me get one, one thing back up over here. There we go. Okay, now we're now we're cooking in all cylinders again. Okay. So, we gotta find his buddy. Sure, any idea where I should start looking? West of Noom Stronghold. Okay, and this guy, if you already have the lodestone, just teleport to Eagle's Peak. Uh, I mean, that's even the name of the quest, so... <laughs> Kind of easy to tell where you need to go if you're doing the Eagle's Peak quest. If you're going to Eagle's Peak, okay, my drink didn't explode on me, so that's good news. I really need a drink bad. Okay, ah, it's better. So, normally, I would just go straight up there, but you have to find out where this guy's encampment. This guy's camp is over here. So, go inspect the different types of stuff, inspect the books, go find the book. You want to read the bird book. This way, you get the metal feather. If you want to read over all the birds, you can. If you have the agility level for it, you can climb this here wall here. This way you don't have to worry about going all the way back and forth all the time. Uh, here you'll want to use your metal feather with the rocky outcrop. Which opens the cave. Okay, now you are inside the cave. The Cave of Wonders. Now, I forget how many feathers you actually need, so I'm just going to take a whole bunch. Like I said, I really have no idea. I, I really do forget. But I'll be able to tell you guys. In a, well, actually, I'll just check here. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to grab... Okay, for that shortcut, it was 25 agility. 10 of the giant feathers. That's all you need is 10 giant feathers. So that is some good news for you guys. Now I picked up more than that, but I like to be on the side of precaution. Talk to him. Shout to him. Okay. They'll say, oh, so you're not actually trapped. <clears throat> Ask if you can help at all. Uh, he'll say about the fancy dress shop and the feathers that are all around. So that's when you want to collect your feathers and then you want to go to um, 
Then you want to go to the fancy dress shop. That's where you'll need the swamp tar and the yellow dye. Because you're making uh, a disguise. A bird disguise. So now that you're in Varrock, you just need to head a little bit further down. And for those of you who are enjoying the warm weather, will understand how much animals love warmer weather. My cat is over here constantly nudging at a curtain all happily because she can smell the outside. Okay. You want to talk to him. All right. You so say you're here for a couple bird costumes. Okay. Let's see. Ask what materials he would need. Okay, so now use the eagle feather on him. Go ahead and get it. It's only 50 gold. It's not going to be a big deal. All right. I don't know why you needed that stuff other than so far. Okay. Uh, we'll head back to Eagle's Peak now because now we have our outfit for both him and I. And now I need to get to him. You see my, oh, my big buddy over here. She likes to be in the camera, I think, at times. Say hi, Misty. Hey. Hey, here's my little buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I accidentally just bonked her on the head. All right, let's head over to the area where we were at. Uh, this time, just go ahead and run up the side of it. I mean, it's probably going to be the same amount of time frame either way. So just run on up the side. Also, if you wanted to, you could use your uh, tele memory strands to teleport nearby here, too. Okay. Now we need to be able to get all the metal feathers to open the doors. So, in order to do that, we need to complete some puzzles. And this puzzle is about getting over there to get things, well, done. So all these bird statues uh, can actually move on a track. And that one will slide because that gate is closed. So now you need to go back here and pull down this equal lever to open up the very first door. So, with that one open, you don't need to worry about any of these guys yet. Because you need to head up here to do this one up here now. So since he's kind of blocking that path, So if you pull that, that'll open up a door somewhere else, so we can do, go do that one. Now that eagle is kind of blocking the way, so is my cat for my inventory, so I'll have to slide this over just so I can see just a little bit. Okay, so feed this bird. And actually, I just realized I did that wrong. Because uh, I kind of got to get the other one out of the way first. So feed this one. And then he'll come back. Okay, so I want to run over here first. And put food in this bird feeder. 
So now that way's opened up. You want to get this bird feeder, use it on here. Sorry, I like playing with stuff sometimes. Okay, so now I like having my mini cam out a little bit. Not quite too far for the map, but yeah. Okay, so now we need to pull this lever. Okay, now we're going to need more bird feed. This area is actually done, so this area we don't need to worry about. Okay, get some more feed here. As you can see, th that one actually opened up the door back there. So now you just want to open that. Come back out here. Feed this bird so it goes back there. What well, comes up here. So you can pull this lever. And once you get this one pulled, you can get the whole area opened up. There's actually a reason for that. You can't just go back there and take it. Otherwise, you actually kind of think you get trapped or something. Some sort of trap with it, basically. Okay. We yeah, want to have them, I think, have them all pulled down. All pulled up, I mean. Okay, so for over here, you just need to get this bird back over. And then you'll want to get this bird feed in there. I wasn't sure my guy was actually going to do what he needed to do. Then he'll come forward, get his feed. And now you can go over this way and get your feather. Yeah, see, otherwise you would have got trapped. That's why you had to do all of them up. Okay, otherwise it would have been way too simple. Up next, we got this entrance. Okay. I actually don't remember this one. Okay, this is like your normal tracking type one. So you gotta find the right path that whatever this is took. So, it either went over here or over here. Odds are it went over here because right here is a cave. But just to be thorough. We will inspect as much as possible. Attack this Tibet. Fairly simple. Get silver feather. And you got the feather for this area. See, the feather was actually there on the stone petal, but the creature took it. So now I got that one. 
So now all I have left is to get the bronze one. Which is in this last area. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's trepidated. Okay, now my cat wants to sit on the other side so I can't read the dialogue. Doesn't seem to move. Okay. Well, we'll take the metal feather and use it with the pedestal. So I know you can't just take it. Well, I guess you don't really get trapped. So you'll do this. Do this. Operate this winch. And operate the last winch and then it will drop. And now you can take your feather. I made that a lot more complex than it needed to be. Okay, now you just need to take these feathers and use them on the stone door. Now I can open it up. Put on my bird costume. And walk past the eagle. Talk to him. Alright, and then you give him his disguise. And he'll say about meeting you back down at the camp. So all you have to do then is just leave from there. Now if you ever want to, you can open and get more of this era skill thingy completed. Which can take you to different areas. Uh, each bird has its own color, which takes you to a different area in the map. Oh, well, in Gilinor. Which some refer to as achievements, and that's about it. It's not really the best way for traveling. Unless it's your thing and you really love it, so. Alright, let's come back down here and talk to him. Sounds good. I'll show you how to catch it first. It is kind of like a weird tutorial into box traps. <sighs> of course it goes right on in. And you got it. Let's talk to him again just to be sure. And now we just gotta head back to Verdun. And talk to Charlie. Okay. Fairly simple quest, pretty easy. Uh, I can't remember if this affects any quests down the road, but hey, it's quest points, right? And that helps you with Tears of Gothic, so that's always good. Maybe we'll just want to head on back. Again, use your surge ability if you have it. Try to get around a little faster. Remember, Charlie's in towards the bottom. Charlie. Oh, that's not Charlie. There's Charlie. Alright. So. There we go. 
two quest points, I mean, it's not too bad. And you get a few more things too, and some experience. So, but, that'll do it for this quest, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later, guys.